Hey guys, it's Kat again, and today I thought I would try out a new thing by taking my kids, what is this, the fuzzy puzzle? It's kind of like a thick, spongy puzzle and make it into her placemat where she eats because frankly I'm sick of picking up these pieces on the ground. So I was going to turn the puzzle into a placemat. Um, I'm going to use either hot glue or super glue, whichever sticks better. And then to stick it to my table, um, because I don't think it's going to be, I think it's going to be still a little movable even though the bottom's kind of rubbery. Um, I might stick a couple of these um, adhesive dots on there. So, um, let's give it a whirl, see how it turns out. Okay, so I have my hot glue, my hot glue gun, and my crazy glue maximum bond, so let's see which one works better. So, let's try out a piece or two. Let's see with the crazy glue. Oh, they rhymed, huh? <laughs> Piece or two with the crazy glue. Okay, let's see. I don't know, it's soaking into the fabric, so I don't think this is gonna work. I just don't want to stick my fingers together. Ah! Wow. It's actually working. I don't think it's going to be perfection. Ah! I think I need to eat. I'm going to shake him again. And I'm sticking to this thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to put all the pieces and puzzles together. Okay, so we got it all together, so now we're going to start super gluing our pieces and parts. Super glue my finger to this thing. You know what? I'm gonna try the hot glue because frankly, I don't like the way this, I don't like the way the super glue smells, and my finger keeps sticking to it. I think that's better. Although you're gonna see the back anyway.
You know what? I just had an idea. Here's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so this, this is what I'm going to do. I think I'm just going to lift up each little piece here and do that. Because frankly, this would take me all freaking day. stay clean on the front. I think that's a way better idea. Alright, so I think everything is glued together. I'm like really tempted to do something with the back here. It's all glued together. By the way, if you have a glass table, this is pretty already non-slip. But I don't have a glass table. I have a wooden table. I know. I'm trying to think if maybe I could put like a piece of cloth, cloth or something in the back. Maybe I'll cut a piece of cloth like this and hot glue that together. I forgot what this is called. Lining or something. Yeah. It's close. Tires. There you are. 
cover up this mess and to keep it secure that's what I'm gonna do colored cloth that you want to put them back on here. Maybe that would look way better, but it's for my kid and I think it's just going to get wrecked anyway when she eats. So, this is how I'm going to do it.
anyway, clean up the edges with your scissors or however, maybe you cut it before you glued it. all the pieces and parts together you're more than welcome to so it kind of looks like that and then she can learn about all her animals which she already knows but maybe it'll keep her busy and sit at the table box all put together and there you have it there you have a cute little placemat for your kid I like it you know what let's see if Try these dots out. I've had these for a really long time, so. Oh wow, they are super sticky. I don't know if that's gonna work. I don't want it to damage. I don't want it to damage the furniture. I'm gonna put a little dab of hot glue on it so it's not so sticky sticky. Does that make sense? 